Fallout Equestria, Unscrewed Audio Files, by Comic Sans Pony, read by Forrest M. Audio Log, Number 6, Image Problems. Testing, uh, testing, one, two, three. Equestrian branch toast on rye. Equestrian branch toast on rye. Is this thing working? I wish it indicated that. Design oversight? Gizmo was surprised they still made these. Wonder why. I mentioned in my last log that this broke. Don't know if it recorded. Could have gotten this thing fixed by Gizmo. He looked like the type who knew how to fix things. Couldn't, though. Not after how I left things. Not after I bit him. He is in the past, like a lot of things I don't wish to discuss. Not now. Not ever. Not even to you, my only friend. It's funny. I'm acting like you're a pony. Can I really be friends with a recorder? Back to business. Mom is safe in the Ponyville stable, or I get Gizmo's left hind hoof, but Shuey is still unknown. I recall one of her visitations. They were few and far between, sadly. She said she got a new job at... at... um... oh, what is it? Don't tell me I don't remember. This is important. Oh, thank Luna, it's still working. I feared for my fragile sanity for a second there. <clears throat> hmm, am I catching a cold? Do I sound hoarse to you? Oh, right, not a pony. Not gonna get an answer. Anyways, I remembered what Shu said. She got a job working for the Image of Ministry... Uh, no... No, that isn't it. I mix it up in my head. My my head's been pretty mixed up until recently. Okay, I, I meant the Ministry of Image. She said it was in Canterlot. I'll go there next. Though, from here, there is a menacing-looking pink shroud around the city. Wonder what that's about. You know, I get the strange feeling that I've heard about that pink stuff... Uh, Dr. Cortex brought it up during one of our sessions. He talked, I... I barked a lot. He mentioned something about it from news about it during the war. Uh, little... Uh, little something or other? Come on, brain! Think! Pih, pih, ugh, ugh. Did a chunk of my hair just fall out?